Hi guys, you never guess where we are. We're in Brighton. We've come down for a few days. Um, as you know, it's like my favourite place in the world. It's so awesome here. What are you going to name him? Um, Bertie. We're staying in an Airbnb and it's a different one to what we stayed in before. So I thought I'd show you guys around the place. Right, so this is our like living room and kitchen and everything. It's really big and has really nice high ceilings, which is something that I really like. Over here we have a wild mark, uh, a beach hut cushion, oh, as we're in Brighton. That. And also, oh, this is nice. It's a really nice picture on the wall um, of Brighton Beach and Brighton Pier. Brighton is, Bay, that's yeah. called. Yeah, um, so that's cool. We've got a really nice um, kitchen table here. Very comforting and homely and somewhere that we're going to eat lots of dinner. As you can also see, we've already been to Infinity Foods. We're on one of the sort of like main roads into Brighton and it just sort of... I don't know, it sums up what Brighton Roads are like. All the houses look really nice. Um, so around here we've got a telly, because we all need a telly. We've got a baby seat for Mark to sit in. Yay! Because obviously he's a baby. Um, uh, we've got a fridge, a freezer, and this is like the sort of kitchen area. It's quite a big room to be honest. Um, and it's nice that we've got a full kitchen, dishwasher, oven, and they give us all the bare essentials that we'll need so that we can do some cooking. But we've also, this is our front door, We've also got some stairs. So this staircase is quite nice. Nice window on the stairs. And if you come up here with me, we have got bedroom number one. Or oh, this is actually bedroom number two. It's a small bedroom and like a single bedroom, but we don't even need it because obviously there's not another person, but it's really nice just to have for space. This hopefully is me and Mark one day with our two dogs going for a walk. Another thing that's really cool in this room is the view. I love the view of Brighton, all the like rooftops and stuff, because Brighton is such a hilly place that you often can see stuff like this. And I'm sure you can't hear in the camera, but I can already hear the seagulls. Seagulls are gonna wake me up every day we're in Brighton, I'm sure. And then you got our bedroom, which I love all the furniture in here. It's really, really nice. You don't always get it super nice in an Airbnb, but we've been really lucky with the ones we've chosen. Got this nice big double bed. Got a wardrobe if we need it. And then we've got a dressing table so I can make myself look beautiful in the mornings or not. Um, another nice window with the same view as the other one but from slightly further down the road. But yeah, we're gonna order some pizza now and I'm sure you'll see more of us in the wonderful Brightonia. Right, so our pizzas have arrived. This is Mark's pizza. Okay, let's open the box. Ooh, I chose this for Mark. This is, um, it's got vegan cheese on it. Ironically, it's then got meat and an egg. But, <laughs> but we, not vegan, we, we, just... we, Mark's not vegan, he's just dairy free. So you order vegan cheese, which makes sense. It's also got sun-dried tomatoes, some basil, looks and good, some peppers. Actually. It looks really good. But for me, let's have a, Let's have a cheeky look in here. Oh, that looks familiar. Yeah, this is this is the greatest pizza. So this is a gluten-free base. As you can see, it looks slightly different to Mark's base, but honestly, the crispiest base you will ever have. Um, and I have got mozzarella, um, mascarpone, and it looks amazing. Honestly, the best. I don't know if we said, but these are from Pizza Face. Did we say yeah. they're from Pizza Face? So that's Mark's, that's mine. morning. I've just woken up in Brighton, which is always a really nice feeling. I love being here. Had a really good night's sleep. I wasn't woken up by seagulls either, which was a bonus. Although Mark said there was lots of seagulls and I've since heard loads. So I must have just been really, really tired. We're about to go and have a Brighton exploring day, just like we always do when we come here. But before that, I thought I'd give you a little stomach update. As you know, my stomach isn't the greatest piece of equipment in the whole entire world. Last night after dinner, my stomach felt incredibly full and bloated, which obviously can be allowed because I had a massive pizza for dinner. But I've woken up today and it's still just feeling like I feel really heavy and mentally it really makes you feel a bit downbeat and you really have to like boost yourself up and be like, yeah, I'm in Brighton, the sun has just come out. And um, yeah, just be really positive about things because otherwise it can really, really dampen the mood and make you just feel a bit blah. I'm not going to let it stop me today. We've got loads of cool places to go and visit. 
we're gonna go and have some nice food anyway, I don't care. I'm just gonna do it because, you know, in a few days time I'll be back at home. That's the plan, plan of action for today, is just to have an awesome time, forget about this, this beast, and um, enjoy myself. <laughs> Right, so I've been meaning to do this for a while, um, come to the opticians basically, because I've been not wearing my glasses or wearing glasses that are the slightly wrong prescription, which isn't great. So I've chosen these these babies, they're like nice Chanel ones with a nice sort of, what's it called? Mother of, Mother of Pearl <laughs> side. They're a bit like tortoiseshelly. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed, I can pick them up whilst we're in Brighton. I'm, I'm very excited. Yeah, I feel really nice. Yeah, I'm really pleased with them. Okay, so I got some new glasses. Not these ones, I actually got some reading glasses that I've been looking for for so freaking long. And um, I found them in Brighton. So we're at the seafront at the moment. It's not the nicest of days in the world, but every day on the seafront in Brighton, I've got some seagulls going around oh, me crazily. So um, every day, in Brighton at the seafront is awesome. Everyone's like sitting on the on the beach. So we're gonna do that, maybe get a nice drink and just chill out on our laptops and then enjoy the rest of the day. That was a tough decision, but both include fish. Um, so tonight we decided that we're gonna go to a sushi restaurant. Um, it's one that's very popular in Brighton. It's called, I think it's called Moshimo. Yeah. So or Moshimo. I, I say Moshimo. Um, and it's quite near the seafront. Um, we're gonna head over there now because they have a gluten-free menu. Looks pretty good, but I'm hungry, so I'm going. So we made it to Moshimo, which as you can see has the most amazing conveyor belt. I actually read that it's the first sushi restaurant in the UK to have a conveyor belt. Ooh, fact of the day, I yeah. didn't know that. So screw so Yo Sushi, this is the place that started it all. Um, and obviously you can get your uh, gluten-free soy sauce here. And what we've ordered to start with is Unreal. Amazing. Gluten-free tempura. We've got tempura courgette, aubergine, and loads of like prawns and everything. It looks amazing. Look at that. Nah, nah. I've never had stuff like this before, so I'm very excited. Um, we're going to be coming back here a lot, but I thought I'd show you right now, and I really want to stop recording because I want to eat it. So bugger off. <laughs> It's our last day in Brighton, and I must say, I am very sad, and Mark is very I'm sad. I'm very sad. But yeah, it's raining outside, so I don't know what we're supposed to do. I mean, obviously we can walk in the rain, and we can go and enjoy Brighton in the rain. I've done it many times before, but... Um, it's quite a long walk. Yeah, it's quite a long walk from here, and it's not the same. Like yesterday, it was a really nice sunny day, and we just really enjoyed ourselves being able to walk in the sun. I got to wear a nice dress, and it was just a... Uh, a happy-go-lucky day. It was really nice. Very lucky, but, you know, because now it's not so lucky and it's raining, which is depressing. Yeah, it's great. Um, but we're packed. So what are we going to do now? I think we're going to drive in. We were originally just going to leave the car here and then walk. Yep. Get the bus. We just noticed the bus stop. But that means waiting for the bus. And that means rain. also we have to get the bus back to here later. Let's get an Uber in and leave the car here. That's quite a good idea. Why did I not think of that? But there was a bus. Because the Uber was so cheap. The Uber was cheap. Yesterday. 
Let's go. Bye, house. Miss you already. Gotta leave the keys on the table. Let's see what it's like. Oh my. Oh my. When we booked this online, it was like the parking space is very tight. But it's good in itself that we have a parking space because oh, you don't get parking spaces in Brighton. Nope. Let me. You'll uh, see just how tight it is. Let's see. I'm putting if the window. If I was smart, I'd push my wing mirrors in, but I like the danger. Oh my god. No, you need to push them in. Nah. Oh my god. Please push them in. No, we're good. We're good. Oh my god. Please. I don't like it. <laughs> Oh my god, thank god. Job done! Phew. Job done, that was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh. Thanks. Oh, yeah. The small ones look really nice. Yeah. On each, like, held up against yeah. each other. Right, so I just I just fell over. Um, I completely stacked it in the middle of a busy road, well, on the path. Um, in one hand, I had my handbag. In the other hand, I had a present from my brother, which is a really expensive bottle of Brighton gin. And um, I smashed it to the floor, and somehow the bottle doesn't seem to have broken yet, but I think it will. <laughs> I'm quite concerned. Um, my phone was in one of my pockets, and it seems to have got a bit of a scratchy dent thing on it, and I'm quite... Mark says it's not bad, I think it is. Basically, I'm a mess, I'm really sweaty yeah, as well now. The, the important thing is, yeah. you got up quickly. I did get up quickly. But yeah, we're walking back um, from a very nice day. We've had a nice sort of wander around Bryson today. It's been raining, it's still raining now. Um, but yeah, we've, we went to lunch in Bagelman. We couldn't resist having a final black mocha. It was just amazing. It was a farewell for Black Yeah, Monica. a delicious hot chocolate. Um, and now we're walking back to the car. Try not to fall over on the way there. Yeah, I'm quite scared. Walking and vlogging, it's not a good combo for someone who falls over and gets all muddy trousers. I'm having to concentrate. I'm walking down some stairs now <laughs> on a railway line. What have you got to say? I'm getting quite wet now. It's just suddenly starting. Yeah, I'm getting very <laughs> wet and can't hold an umbrella and a camera and not fall over. So I think I'll have to put this away. Oh my God. There we go. <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a bit dark now. <laughs> right, so we've made it back to the car. We didn't fall over anymore, which is definitely a good thing. Disappointing. <laughs> no, I've sorted myself out now. And the gin's okay. You and the, yeah, I just checked it. and I'm, I'm surprised. I literally, like to just make sure that I didn't like- I heard the gin hit, I didn't, not you. I didn't want to break floor. a bone. So I used the gin and just slapped it on the floor. It was like I was attacking the floor with gin, like it was an evil person. Um, <laughs> That's but, what it sounded like. Yeah, but somehow the bottle didn't break, so whether or not the gin is good is irrelevant. The bottle is amazing. Brighton is my favourite place. I absolutely love Brighton and I've loved it ever since the very first time I came here, which wasn't stupidly long ago. No. It was, um, I think it was back in about 2010. I'd been at uni for a year in Manchester and I was thinking about switching universities for various reasons. Um, and. I thought about coming to Brighton, so I came down here on my own for the day and I fell in love with it immediately. And then I came to Brighton um, and went to Sussex University for a year and we never looked back, did we? No, we've been when coming I, ever yeah, since. Mark obviously came to visit me all the time when I was at uni here and ever since then we've just kept coming back and back and back. This is the third time we've been this year. I wish it would have been more. Like three oh, no. times seems like quite a lot, but oh, it's just so good. I love. I love the beach, I love the sea air. I love all those really typical things that you think of with Brighton. But then also, I just love being able to, I don't know, just hang out in cafes. Well, we and... stayed a bit further out than we usually do. Yeah. And I think you liked it more. Yeah, I like just, like, feel I like, like feeling, I like feeling like a, a Brighton citizen. <laughs> but I'm going off on a tangent now. So, as I said, thanks for watching. And I hope you're all doing very well and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Thank you.